I hate to tell you this, but private property prices look to be going up at least for the next few quarters ahead. Why so? This news article came out. Two land parcels at one north slim barracks rise fetch 10 bits. Let me give you some information. There are two plots, land parcel A and land parcel B. If you look at this aerial view, you kind of understand that this is very near Bona Vista MRT. And land parcel A is near the main road, correct? Land parcel B is further inland. And the winner for land parcel A is actually EL Development. I want to do a curious check on EL Development. They're actually a small boutique developer that is locally based. Some of their previous projects include Pullman, which is at Newton. That has not sold out fully yet. But land parcel B is actually won by Kui Xiu Hua, who they themselves lost out on land parcel A as a second bid. Kui Xiu Hua is actually owned by Kingsford Property Development. And since you're listening, I'm pretty sure you are aware of Nomentum Park's project, correct? That is developed by Kingsford Property Development. And my guess is since the land is so close to Nomentum Park, they are looking to acquire it to boost up the overall value of prices in the Bona Vista region. But let's look further at other bids because that gives us a real indication of things. Are there any big developers that were competing with these two companies? Yes, there were. If you look at Land Pass A, you'll see that rank number six is actually UOL. And number eight on that list is a consortium of which Hobi Land is part of. They have also bidded for Land Parcel B and also lost out. Hobi is developing Bona Vista themselves, they own Metropolis. They are developing Biopolis 6. So naturally, they are keen on the Bona Vista region. And Hobi has actually been very inactive in Singapore residential project. I tracked them personally as an investor on my main channel, and if I'm not wrong, their last Singapore residential projects are those that are in Sentosa. Let's change again and look back at one North Gateway site which was transacted in September 2019. That was actually transacted at 1001 PSF, which means even big developers themselves are giving a 10% premium on the last bid. To give you more details, who was actually the winner? It was actually TID, who they themselves bid for this project also. They are the number 3 on that list, and TID is actually owned partly by Hong Leong Group. I'd like to draw your attention to how developers really bid for land. You know TID they won that one North Gateway site and they have successfully sold their project at around 2000 PSF. And right now they are bidding this neighboring plot to really beef up their own land bank. So how developers work is they kind of solidify their stronghold. Like you know when you play Monopoly, you control the neighboring plots, you can actually increase the value of the land. This also helps when you're crafting a marketing pitch to sell your units. In any case one North Eden sold very well. On the first launch weekend, it actually cleared 85%. So let's draw back to today's discussion. Private property prices look to be heading up. This last aggressive bid really shows that some developers are land banking aggressively again in Singapore. I don't know when authorities will start to put in cooling measures because if we move on this momentum, 5% per annum compounded in terms of land price growth rate, then we are going to see new record prices almost every quarter. And these two plots are actually 99 year leasehold and they are likely going to transact at above 2200 PSF. So what are your thoughts hearing all this information? Leave in the comment section so I'll be keen to hear from you. Smash on like, smash on subscribe to get notified especially if you are keen to hear the latest information on the markets. And with that I'll sign up for here. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Take care and goodbye.